everyone this is a quick guide to show you how to upload your um, supplier bills and invoices in zero okay so when you log in uh, this is my demo account but you should see something similar this is your dashboard and when you receive um, invoices from your suppliers or you pay for something for your business uh, you will want to record them and save the source document in zero as well so that uh, in the future if you need to refer to any particular transaction you can trace it very easily okay and uh, the easiest way to do this will be from the top right hand corner you will see a plus sign so just click on it and go to bill okay uh, not invoice invoice is the one is is the one that you send to your customer so you want to record the bills that supplier sent to you so you go here all right and from here you can uh, there are a few important fields that you should uh, take note of number one is who is it from so uh, you can choose the name to enter if you have previously recorded the contact they will show up here if not then uh, just type in the name and then uh, let's just say uh, let me just try to maybe put a certain name that is not available so you can see that then there's this option to add a new contact right so let's just say Singapore uh, food supplies all right and this is my new contact you can you can go and go in and change the details via the contacts later on uh, but this is to facilitate um, uh, quick entry so that you don't have to go and uh, go to another page to create okay the date um, that will be the date where you receive the invoice not the day you make payment um, so let's just say I received the bill today uh, if there's a due date you should enter one so 21st reference you can leave this blank uh, but for myself my way of doing it is I will I would like to reference the um, the the invoice number of the supplier so let's just say the invoice sent was this then you just record accordingly okay so this is the button where you upload the source document it's actually very important especially if you are gst registered you need to keep all your source documents in case um iras ask for them so this is where you record so you just click on it and then you can actually upload upload the various files uh into here all right so you can just click and drag the the invoice or supplier bills over here as well okay next up uh remember to choose the currency if you if you are multi-currency if not then the default one will will be you know the singapore dollars or usd whichever you choose to set up if you are gsd registered then you should choose either tax exclusive or tax inclusive if you are not gsd registered then you should go no tax okay then if you have uh, created your inventory items then you can choose from here okay let's just say you uh, you are buying let's say a t-shirt all right so these are pre pre-filled um uh, and uh, data that you created under um, your products and services so you but you are free to adjust them all right so you can you can probably put uh, something right you can adjust you can also adjust the amount if it's not correct okay and okay but uh, of course on the contrary right, let's just say you do not have any item set up that's fine also you will then uh, start from here just put in the description um, you know whatever that helps you identify the transaction put in the quantity and also the unit price that you bought the item for 50 Okay, but it be, if, if you do not have your preset product and services right then you have to choose your own uh, accounts uh, this the chart of accounts where you categorize your payment your your uh, your purchase uh, it's very important to choose them correctly so that you don't have to revisit and uh, make adjustments so let's just say you're buying a a, a t-shirt for sale so this could go under purchases or if you this is uh maybe you are paying for your telco bill then you just go under and look for the the relevant um transaction so uh, i don't let's just say maybe it's telephone internet or something like that 
right? So so next time when someone reads this description and they just want to verify whether this is correct or not, then they can uh, look at the uh, attachment, you know, whatever that you have attached here, and then they will, they can verify against whatever that's recorded here. So it's actually very important that you upload your source documents. Okay, then um, I'll talk about this another time. Uh, most of the time you will not require this unless you are a middleman. Okay, then after this is done, right, uh, you can either um, save as draft, all right, or you can save and submit for approval because in zero there are a few levels of access. Um, for some companies, they will only have uh, one person doing the data entry and then submit for approval where the, the manager or something will actually do a final approval before they approve it. But let's just say we are SME, you know, we were keeping our own accounts. Um, you, you don't have like so many layers involved. You can straight away approve or you can approve and add another as well. All right. So let's just say I approve. Okay. Then this view will be created. If I go back to my dashboard and under the bills you need to pay, you can see that. The overdue is because of the of the due date that you that you indicated. So you can see here, you know, I've created this Singapore food supplies. So it's a waiting payment. If you have saved as draft, then you will come here. If you save it as a waiting approval, then the manager will have to come here and look at all the bills and approve accordingly. Okay, then uh, one more thing to note. Okay, let's just go in again and uh, let's just say that you you are making payment today as well. So you, what you can do is, uh, you can, you should always indicate as much as possible to be, to be accurate. Uh, let's just say I make a payment today and I paid from this bank account. Okay. And you add payment. Then this bill will be indicated as paid right here. And it's no longer gone. The, and this will facilitate the 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 reconciliation of your bank account later on so that uh, you know when I see uh, uh, outflow of uh, money in your bank account I will know that I will probably have to reference to all the entries in this line rather than awaiting payment because uh, you have not made any payment yet okay then uh, of course you can uh, copy or edit if you make some mistake here and there or you can print it out Okay, but basically that's that's all. Uh, uh, I'll end here and I'll follow up with another video on another function later on. Alright, thank you very much.